Hey everyone, welcome to Cross the Ditch and See. My name is Laura and I'm so glad you're here today. I gotta show you something. It snowed. Some of you may be watching this and going, yay, it snowed, whoop de doo we get snow all the time. But here in Eastern North Carolina, we get snow maybe once a year. And most of the time when we get snow, it isn't even enough to have fun with. It's just like a dusting on the ground and that's it. So we are super excited. Um, even though the kids are in virtual school right now, they canceled school today so the kids could have fun, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna have ourselves a snow day today. All right, I have to show you this. So my son and I made our snowman family and this one is mine with the little fire helmet. We put rosemary sprigs as my arms, <laughs> little tomatoes, which one of my eyes has fallen out, but little tomatoes for the eyes. But then he surprised me with a little table and a little flower pot that has rosemary in it since I love to garden. That is the sweetest. So walking around the yard, just looking at the beautiful snow and I noticed a little something, a little sign of spring sprouting. My daffodils that I planted last fall are sprouting. So spring is coming. It has been a cold, snowy day, but it has been so much fun. It was nice to be able to spend the day with the kids and make snowmen, make snow cream. It's just been a great day all around. But I had something delivered today. UPS came while we were outside playing and I wanted to share it with you. The other day when I did my video salad tower and side note, if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to go um, back and look at it. But it was talking about my new green stalk planter. But I have been saving up for it for a really long time, waiting for it to go on sale and finally got it. But, um, you know, not everyone may be able to do that or they may not want to do that. And they would love to do a tiered planter, but they want a cheaper option. So I wanted to show you a cheaper alternative and it just happens to be from the Dollar Tree. Now, I went down to our local Dollar Tree and looked for the tiered planners and they did not have any in stock. They were sold out, understandably so, because they are kind of cool. So um, I went online and luckily was able to order some. Now, when you order on dollartree.com, you have to order like the whole case of them. So you get 36 planters, which is more than I will probably use. I say that, I might use them all, if not, It'd be kind of cool to make, you know, a three, little three tiered or three stack tiered planner and gift it to some people. That would be kind of cool. But, um, so you do get a lot, but you have to order the whole case. So it ends up being 36 bucks plus shipping. But, you know, to me, that's really not a bad deal compared to the, you know, $100 on sale that I paid for my green stock. So I'm going to quit rambling and show you these planners. All right, so here is my box of Dollar Tree uh, tiered planters, and I want to show it to you. I have already opened it to take a look. Um, anytime that you order something, oh, I got tape stuck to me. <laughs> anytime you order something in the mail and it's shipped to you, you always risk uh, damage to the package, particularly if they're not like packed uh, too well. So 
there were some damage or there was some damage to these when I got them but for a dollar I can't complain too much um, I do plan to reach out to the Dollar Tree just to say hey look they were damaged I don't know what they'll do but we'll see Anyhow, let's get them let's get them open and if you see me looking off to the side over here my son is threatening to throw snowballs at me <laughs> So when you order these, you don't have a choice in the colors. You get a set of each color. It comes in three colors. Blue, like a dark blue. You can kind of see right there. A terracotta color and then kind of like a grayish off-white color. Um, so you get 12 of each, which really isn't bad. But um, when I open the box first, the first three of these, I think it's the first three, yeah. The first three on top were cracked and broken. I feel like that probably happened in shipping. So I'm not too, yeah, I'm not too mad because I mean, it was a dollar. But like I said, I'm gonna reach out and just see. But um, the first three of the blue were cracked and damaged. They're not like unusable. I could still use those. They just probably wouldn't last as long. But I got, See if you can make it in here. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, got snow all over me now. Ooh. All right, so you get, no, don't put you more. All right, no. So you get 12 of the blue, like this. The rest of them were in fine, the condition of the horse. Fine. Look at this. Check all of them. No all over me. All right, uh, you get 12 of the terracotta. None of these appeared to be damaged by what I could tell, but there's your terracotta. And then you get, oh, wind is cold. You get 12 of this like grayish off-white color. Um, some of these were damaged also. Uh, this one on top was cracked, which that's really not that big of a deal. It's got a little crack right there. But um, on the bottom, that one was broken. And then the one below it, the little uh, watering tray was uh, broken also. So in total, I had six damaged. But out of 36 and them being a dollar piece, I'm really not mad over that. So let's do a little compare and contrast. Once again, go back, watch the uh, salad tower video so you can see the green stalk itself, which you are sitting in my green stalk right now. But um, the differences I see right off the bat, these are actually pretty sturdy. There's a little flex but it's not that bad. These are pretty sturdy, pretty well made. Um, they have the little cups, little trays that attach to the bottom right here. You can pop these off and it'll allow water to drain a little bit better and it'll out, um, allow the water to drip down. Um, one of the biggest differences, these are not as, de uh, as uh, deep as the green stalk. It is probably, I'm looking about half the depth of the green stalk one, but still not a bad deal. You could very easily plant um, more of your shallow root vegetables, your lettuces and stuff, um, strawberries, you could use that in here. And of course flowers. Um, yeah, you could definitely plant these in there. But other than that, um, the only other difference was there's only three planting spots, whereas on the green stalk, there was six. So obviously you get more bang for your buck as far as uh, planting space and planting depth with the green stalk, but you also get 36 of these. So it's probably comparable as far as like overall uh, planting space. But these are, I mean, they're sturdy. I'm quite impressed, quite impressed. But you stack these the same way that you stack the ones from uh, green stalk on one of the pieces of plastic that fell out. So 
one, two, three, four, five. So this is the first time using these. I don't know how long these are gonna hold up. I don't know how well the plastic's gonna hold up to the heat that we have here in Eastern North Carolina, but I will definitely update you on these as the summer goes by. But um, you stack these the same way that you do the green stalk. See if you're still in frame here. So set that, and then you're gonna just rotate this one offset of the other. And stack it like that it has a little groove right here you can see that that when you set it <clears throat> on top of the other one let's see if i can show you up close when you set it on top of the other one let's see if i can do this it fits right into that little groove so you could probably stack i'd say five easily. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's a cute little multi-tier planner. So what I would do, I would do these the same way I do the green stalk. Fill them with dirt, go ahead and water them in, um, and then stack them on each other wherever you plan to have them at. I wouldn't try to tote this around. I wouldn't want to like warp or damage anything. But yeah, that's pretty easy. And that right there, all together, $5. $5 for this cute little uh, planter. So definitely a cheap alternative to your green stock planter if you um, don't want to spend the money or um, you know, can't spend the money or you just don't want anything as big as it. You just want some smaller ones maybe to have out on a patio. This is definitely an option. And you can plant your shallow root vegetables in here. You can plant flowers in here, some strawberries. I feel like these will need to be watered a little bit more often than the ones uh, with the green stalk. But still, that is, that's cute. I'm not complaining, I like it. So I think what I'm going to do I am not going to plant anything in it tonight because uh, it is supposed to get down into the teens tonight and I don't want to, uh, I don't really think any of my seeds would do too well in that temperature. So what I'm going to do is uh, this weekend coming up when I start my seeds uh, for some of my spring garden, uh, I think I'm going to try to start some strawberry seeds in this one. But. I will show that to you in another video. But I just wanted to show you this cheaper alternative from the Dollar Tree. So that's five tiers right there. So, I mean, you could do three tiers. You might could go up to six tiers. Once again, haven't tested it out yet. So I don't know the weight, how much it will hold, but it's a cute little planner. And for five bucks, you can't beat that. That's definitely a way to garden on the cheap. So. Awesome. So one of the other differences between this planter and the green stalk is on the top. It does not have a reservoir on top to hold water. So you will have to water it a little bit more often, but still that's not a bad deal for that really cute tiered planter for five bucks. That's not a bad deal at all. So if you're interested in something like this, check your local Dollar Tree. If they don't have it, you can go online. You can order a case of 36 from them. So the case will cost uh, 36 bucks because they're a dollar a piece. And uh, then you have to pay shipping, which that can vary depending upon where you live. But if you don't want to spend that much money or you don't feel like you could use 36 of them, maybe you have like some friends, families or friends, family or neighbors. My lighting is crazy, sorry. Uh, friends, family, or neighbors that might would want to split a case with you. Um, or you could use these as gifts, you know, stack them up, plant some flowers in them, you know, gift them to people. Mother's Day is coming up. That might be a cool gift to do. But um, these, are, these are really cool. I'm excited to use them and I'm excited to share with you how things grow in them and how they hold up uh, during the, the summertime. 
Well, that is it for today's video. It is cold. I've been outside most of the day today. So I'm gonna head in and try to warm up with a cup of hot cocoa. But I hope that you will give these planters from the Dollar Tree a try or even, you know, give a green stalk a try. It's definitely a way to plant a lot of things in a very small space. So these would be really good, especially the ones from the Dollar Tree if you're trying to save money or you don't have a lot to spend, but you do want to give give it a go at growing some vegetables or just, you know, growing some flowers at your home. But you don't have space or you you know, you're not allowed to, you know, put in a garden bed or anything. These planters from the Dollar Tree are a great option for you. So you can plant these things at your home. Uh, like I said while I go, maybe if, if you don't, if you can't spend the $36 to get a case uh, because they may not be in stock at your local Dollar Tree, you know, maybe some folks would be willing to split that, split a case with you so you could save money and spread the love as well. But um, I hope I hope this will inspire you to try to plant no matter where you live. And like I said in the beginning of starting this channel, my goal was to show folks that it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter your financial situation. With a little bit of creativity, you can grow food for you and your family. So head to your Dollar Tree, see if they have some in stock. If not, you know, go order you some online and plant you some goodness. So come this spring and summer, you'll have some fresh fruit growing at your home. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will come back to see me again. If you like what you saw today, uh, please give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. I hope you'll come back to see me again and I hope you have a blessed day.